Okay, in today's trading video, let's go over some basics of silver trading. So silver trading futures is what we're talking about here. Now, I trade uh, more gold than I do trade silver, but I do also trade silver. And we're, we're going to go through and compare and contrast gold and silver and uh, walk you through some of the contract specifications and show you a few things of the advantages and disadvantages of trading both. You can also, um, at the end of this video, there should be another video somewhere located on the page about trading uh, gold futures. So you can also look at that one. So first, you got to know what months they trade. So silver trades F h k n u and z now all that means is and this is the 2011 so if you're looking at this video and it's a different year just change the year so on the silver contract the continuous contract what you want is january march may july september and december now if you don't know what are the months i will give them to you here really quick i have a cheat sheet so i remember i don't i don't have them committed to memory uh, what I've got is I've just got a little post-it note on one of uh, at my office here. I've got six 24-inch LCD monitors hooked up to one computer, and then on one of them I have a post-it note on the side. So don't ask me who made up these symbols, but here's how they go. Uh, January is F, uh, February, and what I'll do is let me write this so you don't have to see me write it, and then I'll come back and explain it really quick. So I'm going to pause it real quick. All right, so I'm finishing up here. I just have Dece to go, D-E-C for December. This is supposed to be a zero or an O, and Dece is Z. All right, so here's how it works. January F, February G, March is H, April is J, May is K, June is M, July is N, August is Q, September is U, October is V, November is X, and December is Z or Z, depending on what country you're from. I have no idea why they didn't put them in order. Don't ask me. I didn't come up with the naming algorithms. The exchanges did. It almost looks like someone went in there and picked a few key months, and they're like, oh, well, heck with the order. We'll just do it this way. But anyway, that's how it works. Now, on gold, when you're looking at gold trading futures, I've got another video on that, and you can see these are the times that gold's open. Silver's open the same amount of time. It opens up at 6 p.m. and closes at 5.15, so it's only closed for um, 45 minutes, right? And then it resets. So it's pretty much a 24-hour time that you can trade it, although it's not really active all 24 hours. So you have to figure out the pit traded session and trade that session if you only want to trade with the volume. Now, I recommend that. So I would you know do that from the pit session open to the pit se session closed. So what is a pit? What is a tick worth? A minimum move in um, silver is, believe it or not, a half a cent, all right? So it's half a penny. And how it trades is it would trade from, let's take the most recent contract, it would go 34, 38, and then it would go 34, 38, 5, and then it would go 38, all right, it's 34, 34, uh, 39. So it's a half a cent uh, in between the bid and ask. Now, it'll get a little bit wider from time to time. The minimum move is a half a cent, and the minimum move is worth, so every half a cent is worth $25, and a full point in silver is worth $5,000 per contract. So it does move. Now, um, it's a little thinner, as you can see here on this day that I'm doing this video. Um, gold's volume today is 172,513 contracts, all right? Whereas uh, silver is 76,985 contracts. So it is thinner, which is going to make the moves a little bit more thin and erratic, but you also get more bang for your buck on the silver. In other words, when it starts moving, it starts cruising. Now you can do a, um, a, a uh, compare and contrast and just put these two on top of each other, and you can see which one's going higher, faster, or lower quicker, and then determine which one you want to trade. So let's take a look at some live market analysis here. So this is my live trading account. You can see this is the most current contract month on silver right now as it's going off. And I want to show you, you know, how that it actually does move. So looks like we've got a little bit of an up move here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the lowest number of contracts you can do. And I'm just going to go one contract and let you take a look at what it looks like. Mm -hmm. There is an order on the fill. And you can see now each tick that it moves, 
I'm making $25. And each tick you can see from 33.84 to 33.84 and a half, 33.85. There's a full point, or there's a full cent move. And remember, a full point is going to be worth $5,000. So, um, although it is thinner, you get more bang for your buck on silver. So, if you don't know what you're doing, please don't trade uh, silver futures because um, they, they, they tend to rip uh, your head off if you don't really know what you're doing. Good luck. Hope it helps. I'll see you tomorrow.